Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! But, actually, cut the music. I'm sorry to say this, but the snow, it isn't real. And my beard, just a JPEG. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Cheap. Now, in today's episode of Dirt Cheap, we're going to be doing something a bit different. Instead of exploring just one Dirt Cheap project, I'm going to be showing all of you five different DIY miniature solutions, which I've found to be very quick, very easy, and look very stylish in the end. Now, if you do end up enjoying today's video, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and to check out more of my content. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Welcome to D20 in Disguise. All right, so just a quick note before we dive into these five DIY miniature solutions. All of these solutions are very quick and easy and objects which you can find around your house, such as thumbtacks or toothpicks or paper clips. All of these objects you can find around your house or get them super cheap at a local store. All right, with that useful disclaimer out of the way, let's dive into our first DIY miniature solution. Rose thorns as teeth. Let's get right into it. So you may be thinking, rose thorns as teeth, what does that even mean? What I'm talking about are these little thorns right here. Now, I just pop these off of rose bushes in front of my house. Just really quick and easy, you just pop them off and they actually look quite nice. Now, do be careful because they are pointy, but as you can see, if you were to line these up in kind of a jaw formation, they could form a sort of mouth. And they do look quite a bit like teeth. As you can see here, I've kind of formed them into a jaw-like formation, and they don't look half bad. You can use this on different scatter terrain pieces or even miniatures themselves, detailing and putting teeth on larger creatures which didn't originally have it. Now, that would require more work, but as I said, this is a very quick, very easy solution for miniature teeth. You can also repaint these if you'd like. Now, they do actually look quite decent right now, as in the winter season, they become slightly bleached with red tips, which actually looks very nice, or you can simply repaint them with white paint, a dab of tan paint mixed in, and some red on the tip of the tooth. Now remember to be careful with these, they are actually sharp. If you want to actually sand them down, you can do that. But remember that that's going to decrease the fang-like look that they have. If you're going for more of sort of a molar look, then definitely sanding is an option for that. Now that we've explored rose thorns as miniature fangs, let's move on to our second DIY miniature option, toothpicks as fence posts. Let's jump right into it. So this DIY option is kind of easier to see. All you have to do is just snip off the ends of a toothpick to the length which you want for the fence post. Go ahead and just stick it in your terrain and you're set. Now I would suggest using these special kind of toothpicks with grooves on one end. And this really helps in a few ways. Firstly, you don't have to trim off both pointed ends. And secondly, you can fit in twine or a sort of wire if you're going for that kind of feel for this fence into those grooves and actually make a full-fledged fence out of that. You don't have to make an actual groove or just wrap it around the fence post, which can fall off. And remember that you can stain or paint, if you prefer that, these actual toothpicks. So they can actually blend into 
your terrain. Overall, a very good option for quick and easy fence posts and honestly kind of beats more expensive options for fences. All right, let's move on to our next DIY miniature solution, bottle caps as miniature markers. Now this solution I especially like, it's very quick and easy. These bottle caps right here are honestly about the right size for a miniature base and you can find them pretty much anywhere. Heck, they're even dry erase. Like, there's really no downsides to using this over, say, dice. All you have to do is just grab a few bottle caps and a dry erase marker, just label your different monsters, and you're completely good to go. It's a very nice and easy solution for miniature tokens and markers. Also, if you'd rather prefer a cleaner side without text on it, just use the back side, the bottom. Once again, it's dry erase, and it's a single metallic tone so that the color doesn't mess with the dry erase. Now we have a household tool which can be used for two miniature solutions. Paper clips as either wire trees, or when used in tandem with our toothpick fence posts, make full-on fence posts. Let's jump right into it. So you may be thinking, how are you going to turn this into a wire tree? Well, it's quite simple. First, start by unfolding all of your paper clips into a straight wire. Next, take your preferably longest paper clip and keep it that, uh, keep it that straight way. But on one end, try and make it look branchy. Next, you're going to want to take your second longest paper clip and try wrapping it around the straight end of that longer paper clip. And once again, making that other end branchy. You're going to want to continue this until you've wrapped around so many paper clips around themselves that you've created a sort of trunk and all of those branchy ends have created all of the branches of a tree. Now this does take quite a few paper clips but as I said all of these household objects are very cheap and you can buy in bulk for a small price. In the words of Thanos it's a small price to pay for salvation. You can also use these paper clips in tandem with our toothpick fence posts and actually wrap them around that grooved end and make the full-on fence. You don't have to use twine, you don't have to use uh, baling wire, you don't have to use anything else, just paper clips and toothpicks. So now that we've covered four of our five miniature DIY solutions, let's move on to our fifth and final solution. Thumbtacks as balusters. This miniature DIY solution is very easy to do. All you have to do is take a simple All you have to do is take a simple thumbtack, go ahead and trim off the actual tack part of the thumbtack, the metallic part of the thumbtack, and take a file, just file down that metal, and then you have your baluster column. Just go ahead and take your railing line it up on a bunch of these different baluster columns and you have a very very nice looking railing you can also if you're creative enough use these thumbtacks for the handle of a great sword or whatever you really want as i said these diy solutions are very multi-purpose and you i'm sure there's a bunch of other household objects very small little objects which you can use in your miniatures for dirt cheap for this reason, if you guys would like another episode of 5 Miniature DIY Solutions in Dirt Cheap, then please like the video so that I know that you enjoy this content, and comment down below your favorite DIY miniature solution from this video. Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, once again, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Have a merry holiday season, and I will see you in the next video.